Killing cancer cells without hurting the patient has always been a challenge for doctors. Now San Antonio's Cancer Therapy and Research Center is testing a new kind of agent called a biologic therapy, and it's showing great promise, as Ken's 5's Wendy Rigby reports. Kenny Scott's cancer journey began four years ago when doctors removed a lemon-sized tumor from his arm. It turned out to be soft tissue sarcoma. It's about one centimeter. This summer, the cancer returned in the form of small tumors in his lungs. We could go with the chemotherapy, but it was going to be extremely bad. It would not cure it. How you doing, Ken? Scott opted for an experimental therapy called Rio Lysin. It works totally differently than chemotherapy. For five straight days every four weeks, patients are infused through an IV with a living virus. Normal cells don't allow the virus to replicate, but cancer cells do. So the virus copies over and over again in the diseased cells until the cells die and release thousands more viruses to continue the work. They don't have the possibility of inactivating the virus, so the virus will replicate inside of the cancer cell and finally will kill the cancer cells. <laughs> Eight cancer patients have gotten the experimental treatment in San Antonio so far. And while they feel like they have the flu for a few days, the side effects are much less toxic than conventional therapies. For patients like Scott, it's a last best hope. I'm expecting good positive results from it. If this drug really does work, um, it's got amazing possibilities. Good morning. Oncologists say the biologic therapy may work in tandem with other treatments, making it even more effective for different kinds of patients. We can spare normal cells while killing the cancer cells. I definitely think it's a promising agent, absolutely. Rio Lysin is also being tried in patients with melanoma and ovarian cancers. If it proves successful, it will still be three to five years before it's widely available. Reporting live, Wendy Rigby, Ken's Five Eyewitness News. Thank you, Wendy. Well, are your kids?